closer and Christmas was getting closer too for Moses but they were still slaves in Egypt. Had God forgotten his promise of rescuing his people? No, of course not. To help them wait for Christmas, God gave his people several clues and hints and pictures of what Jesus would be like. The first picture was the Passover lamb. Do you remember that story when God's people were trapped in Egypt and Moses asked the Pharaoh, let my people go? Ramesses, your stubbornness is bringing this misery upon Egypt. It would cease if only you would let the Hebrews go. I will not be dictated to. I will not be threatened. I am the morning and the evening star. I am Pharaoh. Something else is coming. Something much worse than anything before. Please, let go of your contempt for life before it destroys everything you hold dear. Think of your son. I do. You Hebrews have been nothing but trouble. My father had the right idea about how to deal with your people. Ramesses. And I think it's time I finished the job. Ramesses. And there shall be a great cry in all of Egypt, such as never has been or ever will be again. God has come to me again, saying, Take a lamb, and with its blood, mark the lintel and posts of every door. For tonight I shall pass through the land of Egypt and smite all the firstborn. But when I see the blood upon your door, I will pass over you and the plague shall not enter. God tried to warn the Egyptians. He tried to tell them how terrible sin was, how bad it was to listen to the snake. But they heard the snake whisper, God won't really punish anyone. But the truth is, sin hurts. It hurts us and it hurts everyone. So. God's love for people meant that he had to punish sin. God planned a way to punish the sin and forgive his children at the same time. God punished all of the evil in Egypt at the time of Moses, but the blood on the door frames of those who loved God saved them and kept the people safe inside their houses. Christmas tells us the story of Jesus, the Lamb of God. Jesus had never sinned, but he took the punishment for what we deserved. When Jesus hung on the cross, his body was broken and his blood was poured out to keep us safe with God. God's greatest gift to you is his son. Jesus rescues us from punishment for sin and he makes a way for us to be with him and to be with God. How amazing is that? It makes me so happy to think about what Jesus did for us from the very beginning of being born right through to going back to be with the Father. It's an incredible story that makes me just so, so happy. And that is what Christmas is all about, you guys. Another thing that makes me happy at Christmas, a crazy Christmas cracker jokes. Let's have some now. Why was the snowman looking inside a bag of carrots? He was picking his nose. <laughs> so the worst job I ever had was as a forensic ecologist for the United Nations. One time, I thought I'd come across a mass grave of a thousand snowmen. Turns out it was just a field of carrots. What did Santa Claus say to Mrs. Claus when he looked out the window? Looks like rain, dear. 